but they found out guys that there is a hole in my eye but honestly you guys like this last semester was a lot it just says a bridesmaid squad questionnaire so these are what the boxes look like The way a little shy couldn't look you in the eye when I noticed you The way you walked up to me thinking this can't be true oh. Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday I haven't vlogged in a really long time so I thought today would be a really nice day to vlog um, Because I'm working from home and there's actually quite a bit of stuff going on today So I thought that would be kind of interesting um, to share and I just feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on it's been about three weeks since I vlogged um, that has a lot to do with Georgetown and grad school and all that kind of stuff and I'll get I'll get into that later in the vlog um, but yeah now that finals are over for the spring semester i finally feel like i have a second to myself to talk to you guys on the camera so anyways welcome if you're new here my name is sarah jane i make gosh personal finance georgetown grad school and wedding planning vlogs so if that sort of content interests you then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel right now it is 8 45 and so i'm just gonna read for a couple minutes i'm currently reading where's my book it's over here so I'm currently reading Follow Me by Kathleen Barber. And uh, this is, gosh, this is written by a DC author, which is kind of cool. She's coming to our book club tomorrow. And I just started reading it, so I'm trying to get as much read as possible. Um, but it's pretty good so far. I'm only like on page 30, so not too much to report yet. Um, I just finished the secret life of adeline larue or the invisible life of adeline larue that's all over book talk and that was also like one of our books from book club um that everyone had really good things to say about so that was a really good book um i'm giving it four stars out of five because so it was so beautifully written it was so oh my god it was just such a good holistic book in terms of like love and time and what it is to be a person but the reason I'm giving it four stars instead of five is because it took like a hundred pages for the plot to really start developing. And I understood what she was doing as an author. She was really setting the groundwork, but still like a hundred pages is a lot before you really get to the point. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to read this just for a couple minutes and then we're going to start the work day. have to go to a optometrist appointment i got lasik oh my gosh like years ago i want to say it was in 2016 and i made a whole video about i made like multiple videos about it it actually blew up on um youtube i'm sure you guys have seen it and if you haven't i'll link it but um but yeah i got lasik i had a really bad surgery and had to have like a second surgery done because they kind of messed up my eye so my eyes have been good now for about five years and I think I have astigmatism coming back in one of them so I am I haven't done an annual eye exam in forever so I am gonna go get one done today just because I can tell when I'm like looking that something is off um, so let's head to the eye doctor oh my god you guys I have like the craziest thing to share so I mentioned it earlier how I got LASIK and I thought I should probably give you guys a little quick synopsis of what happened so essentially I got LASIK back in 2016 and they messed up on my right eye and I had to go back and do PRK once the retina not the retina once my cornea healed and so I've had two surgeries on my right eye one surgery on my left eye it was a very traumatizing experience to have to go back and do the procedure um because it took like three months to heal and I wore like an eye patch I looked ridiculous and so now I'm always very sensitive about my eyes and like you know making sure I'm wearing sunglasses at all times I'm wearing these because they dilated my eyes just now 
but I did the whole shebang. I got like, I wanted them to look at everything. So I had like four different tests done while I was in there. And um, just because I've noticed a difference in my eyes lately. So when I did LASIK, this eye was 2020 because it went smooth. And then this eye was 2030. They couldn't get it to 2020. My eye prescription is still the, the same but my stigmatism has come back and it's actually come back in both eyes, which is such a bummer and why I can sometimes like be very sensitive to light is because of the light refractions in my eyes because of the stigmatism. Um, so, but they found out guys that there is a hole in my eye. There is a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole in my left eye, which I didn't even know your eyes could get holes, but essentially, um, if you've had if you have bad vision like anatomically your eye is bigger than someone who has good vision um and so i still have big eyes even though my vision is better and um behind the retina there's like a small little surface that like keeps your eye in your eyeball and when you have a bigger eye it can sometimes like tear or like have a hole and that's essentially what's happened to me because my eye is so big um so she wants me to go get a second opinion so i'm going to be scheduling that later in the month but it's just a preventative thing it's so tiny there's no issues with it right now but like later down the line we want to make sure there's no issues but isn't that crazy i was like shocked when she told me i was like oh my god i didn't even know your eyes could get holes anyways i was at the eye doctor way longer than i expected so i'm about to go back home but this is why it's really important guys to get your annual exams no matter what it is whether it's your physical whether it's your female doctor whether it's your eyes always get your eyes checked and we are staying healthy and we are going to be killing it all right let's go home get some fucking glasses message mm -hmm. i can't help but feel like a lot of trouble so I just dropped Trey off at the metro station. He is taking the metro down to Union Station and then he's gonna be taking the train down to see his family this weekend. His nephew is graduating from high school. Uh, so I'm gonna be going down later this week, but um, I wanted to like go into the office tomorrow and stuff. So I'm not joining him until later and I will just drive down. But anyways, things are finally calm at work and stuff and so I thought I would just take a second to just chit chat and talk to you guys about some of the updates that have been going on in my life and I don't know bring you back up to speed first of all isn't this sweatshirt so cute it says fiance my matron of honor got it for me as a gift um so let's first talk about oh my god let's start with Georgetown so if you guys have been following me for a while now, you know that I'm getting my graduate degree from Georgetown in communications and public relations. I've been in the program for exactly a year now. Um, I am 60% of the way done and I was planning on taking summer classes. But honestly, you guys, like this last semester was a lot. I have not been so stressed in such a long time just the mix of wedding planning working a nine to five and going to grad school all at the same time was just so stressful and it, it was also it also specifically had to do with the classes i was taking because i was taking core classes which statistically require a lot more work than an elective does and i was taking two of those um and you have to at least make a b so not a b minus but a b at georgetown for them to count or you have to take it again and classes are expensive so your girl cannot afford to fail literally um so that was kind of like the first thing that's really been like on my mind lately and i've decided i'm like 98 percent sure that i'm going to take the summer off i haven't officially dropped the class i'm going to take um because like i went through a lot of effort to even get into that class it's from so I'm in like the communications program, but there's also another program for design and um, you're allowed to take up to two classes in another program and, but you have to like do all this extra paperwork and you have to like coordinate everything. And so I went through a lot of effort just to like get into that class. So dropping it is kind of like, I don't know, defeating some of those efforts. But at the same time, I think in terms of like, my personal mental health it just i don't really want to put myself through that right now and from what i've heard it doesn't count against you like summer is optional so if you want to take it off like you can so i am really considering doing it because i 
which leads me to my next thing just really want to enjoy like wedding planning you know i got engaged in january and school has kind of made the process not as enjoyable as i would like it to be and i want to really enjoy the season of my life you hopefully only get it once and i i feel like school's kind of killing that a little bit for me and so i want to enjoy it and yeah, so I'm thinking about taking the summer off and it's just been such a big thing for me and something that I've constantly been thinking about lately. And I think the only reason it's been holding me back is because I really wanna graduate with like my friends in the program, um, which if I don't take the summer class, I won't graduate with them. I'll graduate the next year. <sighs> so that's kind of the thing that holds me back, but like I don't think it outweighs the benefits that I would be giving myself, if that makes sense. Mm. So that's kind of what's going on with school. And now I wanna like fill you guys in on wedding planning cause that's been really exciting. Um, we are now at the 10 month mark of wedding planning. We have our venue, we have a planner, we have the photographer, videographer, and we just booked this past week the a band so um we actually had a family connection to a band who um was gracious enough to give us a discount on their 12 person band like oh my god you guys <laughs> that is such a big band um so we're really excited we've heard really great things about them and um we just think you know I, we just we love that there's a family connection there because we love to support um so yeah um we're really really excited about that a lot of the big vendors are now out of the way to include the venue of course which is the first thing we got so those big big vendors are out of the way the next thing on the list is the florist so i have been working with my wedding planner or with a florist who she's been working with for a long time been working with for a long time and um i think it's gonna be good um i haven't signed a contract yet i did sign a contract with her for the engagement party florals I've not signed a contract yet with the um, the wedding floral, so we'll see. Um, I really like her work. I just, I think I have a hard time trying to figure out what part I prioritize. Um, I think I just have bougie taste, you guys. I just like the finer things in life and those tend to cost more money. So um, I'm trying to stay under $6,000 for the florals, which you would think would be plenty for florals, but um, that adds up real quick. Like I am shook. Um, so yeah, so we will, we will see. Um, I haven't signed anything, but I have a vision. Um, I'm thinking like baby's breath, white roses and some white orchids would be really really pretty so that's kind of where we're at right now i'll show you guys my um my my like template that i have i sell this template on etsy uh, but it's been like really helpful in the wedding planning process so i feel like it might be helpful for other okay so this is my template we are now at the 10 month mark so you can see that we have these tasks um i have one person left on the wedding party that I need to ask before I can check that off. But we have all these things that we need to get done and we are have, we have researched these um, items so far and then we've booked everything that we needed to book at the 10 month mark. So this is something that I created. I have here the like how many tasks I've completed which so far is 14.8%. Um, but yeah, it just breaks it down by like month which I've I'm really, I don't know, I'm like really happy with this, guys. I think it looks great. It keeps me sane. So I will link, oh my God, you guys, there are so many birds outside. They're like fighting. Ah. Anyways, if you guys are interested in that template, I will leave it in the link below. You can get it on Etsy. Like I said, it has kept me incredibly sane. I do have a wedding planner and she is wonderful, but this allows me to like look at something and check myself. So I think those are the main updates for now. As for the rest of the day, I still have like another hour of work left. And then I'm going to go to an Orange Theory class, which I have mentioned in my May reset video that I recently started Orange Theory and I've been really enjoying it so far. I really, really love the workout and just not having to think about it and knowing that I'm blasting like 500 to 600 calories per workout. It's, it's great, I love it. So I'm gonna do that later and then I should be getting dinner with 
a friend tonight. Um, she was not able to come to my bridesmaids proposal, so I asked her if we could grab dinner so I could give it to her. Um, I haven't heard back from her yet, but hopefully that's gonna happen tonight. Um, and yeah, that's gonna kind of wrap up my day. Okay, just finished the workout. I didn't get as many, um, I didn't burn as many calories as I normally do, nor did I get as many splat points. I think I only got like 20 this time, whereas I historically get like 25, 30, and I normally burn like 550 and up in calories, and I only burn like 530. So not as many, not as good of a workout, and I think that honestly had to do with the fact that I went to a class that didn't have as many people in it, and I really feed off of other people's energy. So good to know for myself, to not change up my schedule because I work out better when I stick to my schedule. But I'm gonna take some pre-workout really quick. I use the Alani New pre-workout, uh, pre-workout, uh, protein powder. This is in the um, flavor confetti cake. And I'm about to call my, um, my friend's about to call me because she was not able to make it to the bridesmaids proposal. And I shipped her the box and it just arrived and there's a note on there that says, call me before you open this. So um, we have a call literally here in two minutes. So I'm really, really excited um, for that. Ew. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I just, you texted me right as I was walking into an Orange Theory class because I signed up for Orange Theory. Uh, don't you love it? I do, I do. I The call went really well. She loved everything in the bridesmaids box. I am going to show you guys what's in those boxes, but probably later tonight because I just took a shower and I need to head over to her. She lives in Arlington, um, which is only like a 15 minute drive, but I still wanna head over because it's almost seven o'clock. And, um, and yeah, I have her box. I'll show you guys. So this is what the outside of the box looks like. It's super cute, it's white with ribbon and I put their names all on the side. And this is my phone for reference of size. Um, but yes, I am not gonna open this one because I'm literally going to go give it to her, but I will show you guys what's in these boxes later. Hello everyone, yesterday was so crazy i didn't even vlog um i ended up going into the office because i normally go in on thursdays and when i was done i then came home i had to do a ton of laundry for a trip that i'm taking today and then i went to book club which book club was really fun we read this book called follow me i think it's by kath let me i don't want to like say the wrong author so it's called follow me by kathleen barber um and it's based in DC. It's about an influencer who gets a stalker, which is super interesting. Um, and I w it was a really, really good book. Um, I'm not done with it, but I really did want to meet the author. So I still went and I'm really glad because I found out that she is the author that wrote the book Truth Be Told, which was then turned into an Apple series. And it's so good. If you guys have not seen that, you should watch it. I freaking love that series. Um, I had I did not like connect the dots until later in the evening that that's who she was and I like freaked out when I realized it. Um, but yeah, that was really fun and I got home kind of like a little bit later than I, I'd like to get home on a Thursday. But, um, but yeah, passed out. I kind of slept through my alarm this morning, which never happens. Your girl is an early riser. Um, so I'm a little bit behind schedule. I also ran out of coffee, so that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to go buy Starbucks um, this morning. But uh, today is also a super busy day, so I just wanted to check in really quick. First, my um, one of my employees is graduating from a specific school, and so I am heading in to her graduation to watch her. She's also an undergrad, which is really sweet. So I'm going in to the, her graduation this morning and then I am coming back home to work from home. I need to pack because tonight I have a trip. Um, my my fiance's nephew is graduating from high school so we're going down for his graduation. Trey's already there. I need to go today and travel down. Um, and so, and then I also need to drop off cider before I go because we're not bringing her because there's nowhere for her to really stay. So there's just like a ton of moving pieces. Um, so yeah, good morning. Hello everyone, the graduation was good. I am 
back. Um, I, what time is it? It is 12.44. I've essentially been working through lunch just to sort of play catch up. I still have actually a lot more to do, but I am, I can't really do some of it without my team doing their part. So I'm giving them time and space to work on the things that I've signed them. Um, so I figured while I'm waiting, um, I would show you guys this fun questionnaire I sent to my bridesmaids yesterday. So I've officially asked all of my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids and I need to show you guys what I put in the bridesmaids proposal boxes. But um, now I have sent them a questionnaire just to get like a temperature check on a couple of things and I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys. So I made this through a Google form and it just says a bridesmaid squad questionnaire, you know, thank you for being, par being my bridesmaid. Um, and so I start off with just like, tell me who's talking, so their name. Um, in case you don't already have it, what is your exact address? Um, because I do have some bridesmaids who are not local, and so I just wanted to make sure I had the right address. Their monogram initials. I don't know if I'll actually end up doing anything with initials, but just in case I want to, I wanted to have that option. And then I wanted to be transparent with bridesmaid dresses. I, I know that, like, being a bridesmaid can be a heavy, um, financial commitment and like time commitment and I want to be respectful of that because I feel like in the past that hasn't always been reciprocated um, and so I wanted to just do a temperature check of where they felt comfortable um, spending for a dress. So these are some of the options that I gave. Um, additionally, I feel like I will not be able to pay for everyone's hair and makeup, unfortunately, and so I'm leaving this optional, but I do need to give a quote to um, the hair and makeup artist. I don't know who I'm going to use yet, and the prices vary per artist, so um, I wanted to find out if some people are interested in only hair, only makeup, or both, or neither. Um, so I got that. And then ask them what size they would want for their lounge set. I do want to get like a cute getting ready picture together. Um, so I want to go ahead and get that. And then what is something that they've seen at a wedding, bachelor, or bridal shower that they thought was really like unique and fun and different? Um, just to get some brainstorming in. Um, then I asked what songs they would love to boogie to during the wedding, whether that's like when we're getting ready or during the reception. Um, and then I gave some options of when we can possibly go on the bachelorette trip. I wanted to go ahead and get this on the calendar. I know my maid of honor was like already wanting to ask the question, but I decided to throw it in here because every single bridesmaid asked me when it's going to be the bachelorette trip as soon as I asked them. So I decided to go ahead and just figure this date out and then I will toss it to my maid of honor for planning. Um, and then the last question was, what activities do you look forward to the most at the bachelorette party? I wanted to ask this question because I don't exactly know where I want to have my bachelorette party, but I thought how people responded to this question would be really insightful of like where we could possibly do it. I am getting married in March, which means my bachelorette will be during the colder months. Uh, so inevitably, we'll need to go south, um, which really puts us in Florida or Texas, but because it's January, Texas weather can be really finicky. Um, and there's lots of great options in Florida. Um, there's Miami, there's West Palm Beach, there's um, Fort Lauderdale. Like there's a ton of options. I just don't really know. So I just figured I'd ask what the girls are feeling. Um, but yeah, so um, most of the girls have responded. I'm just waiting on two left to kind of close this out. I asked them to respond no later than this weekend. So hopefully I'll get all the responses by then. And yeah, this has been, this has been really fun. Hello. Hello. So I picked up this bag from Shein and isn't it just absolutely gorgeous with all these little pearls? Um, really excited to style this. Okay, so we are almost done for the day. I just need a couple more things, like literally two more things before I can be done for the day. So I thought I would take a second and show you what was in my bridesmaids boxes because I've been saying that forever now. So these are what the boxes look like. I got the boxes off Amazon. They're really cute. They have like a little white tie right here. And then I got these made on Etsy with each of their names. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. I have this little thing that I made on Canva. It just says their name and I can't say I do without you, will you be my bridesmaid or matron of honor or maid of honor? Um, and then when you move, and oh, these, I always picked a photo that was like really sentimental to us. So for this and my friend, 
we had hiked up and like had a beer at the top. It was a great time. So I picked that photo. And then here is more fun stuff. I got them each a coffee cup with their initial on it from Anthropology because these are so cute and I love these. Um, I got them a little lotion. This says Wedding Team Hand Cream and it's a cherry blossom scent. Um, I got them this which is to have and to hold and it's just a black satin hair scrunchie because that's what their bridesmaid dresses are going to be is a black satin and this is really fun um i'm not going to undo this one because i have it nice and rolled up but i have an extra that i'm going to show you guys so i made these really fun magazines i'm so proud of them i worked on them for a while um but this is what it looks like this is just an extra copy but every girl got this so it just says long because that's going to be my new last name it says bridesmaid edition so long to lambert is going to be our hashtag because his name is long and my name is lambert so I thought that was really cute. And the bottom says, the squad, the venue, the vibe. The squad is the special people that I cannot imagine not having by my side. The venue and then the vibe, which is the modern, elegant, with a black classic, uh, black and white palette. So this is also the day that he proposed. So when you open it, um, on this page, I said I truly felt like this day would never come. But here we are. I cannot imagine entering the season of life without you by my side. And I'm so excited for this next chapter. Um, and then this are all the bridesmaids. I've covered up their, you know, personal identifiable information. But I did put their names and their phone numbers. Because at least in my experience being a bridesmaid, all these people would start texting me and I didn't know who was who. So I wanted them to go ahead and have that information. And then it also said if they're like a bridesmaid, maid of honor, matron of honor, like all that's right here. That way they felt like they could, you know, know who's part of the party. This next page is the venue so they know where it's at and what it looks like. It's beautiful. And then this last page is the vibe and the inspiration. So kind of like what I'm going with and how I mentioned I'm doing a black and white elegant theme. Um, this is just to kind of show them like, oh yeah, like I'm going to be using lots of baby's breasts. We got some orchids in here, some white roses. Um, film photography like just to give them all the love and then the back just has our hashtag again and then our wedding website so like i said i made this myself i used a mix of canva and photoshop um just to make it all kind of go together i will say the paperweight was tricky i'm not like as an expert on the weight of paper and like what kind of paper you need to be using but luckily i work in an office with a gentleman that is a pro at it and he was able to like point me in the right direction so that was really awesome but yeah every single bridesmaid that opened the opened like the magazine like loved it they thought it was so cute and so i would love to incorporate more magazines in my wedding if i can find like a chance for it we'll see but yeah that was like probably my favorite part of the proposal so yes i have one box remaining i actually have already asked this girl to be my bridesmaid i we got engaged at the end of january and then we went to san diego for my friend's birthday and i knew i wanted her to be a bridesmaid but i didn't have anything ready yet like it was all so new so i just asked her just like conversation but she's coming for my engagement party in a couple weeks so i will actually give her this even though she's already said yes i want her to have you know the same things that everybody else got and so this is the last box that i have left all right guys it's been a couple hours i am done with work and i've already dropped cider off my bags are packed and i'm headed out to go meet up with my fiance's family to spend um, a few days with them to celebrate his nephew's graduation so that's it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i Gosh, I don't know if I even caught you guys up on everything that I've wanted to share. But I think for the most part I have. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. And I'll talk to you guys in another one. Bye.